Cześć, tutaj Tomek Kopyra z blogu blogkopyra.com Ze mną e, Paweł Szpila, e, piwowar browaru Fortuna Tak, witam Was serdecznie e, Jesteśmy, jak widzicie e, po znaku, w miejscowości Lembek Czyli e, tutaj się narodził Lambik tak e, stąd, stąd nazwa tego stylu, e, który, e, który, z którego słynie Belgia, z którego słynie belgijskie piwowarstwo A zaraz przy tym znaku znajduje się e, browar Browar Bun, z którym to właśnie planujemy naszą przygodę piwną. Kolejną mogę tutaj zaznaczyć, ponieważ Browar Fortuna postanowił stworzyć wspólny projekt, wspólną, wspólną kooperację związaną z kuporzowaniem oryginalnego belgijskiego piwa Lambik z naszymi piwami, które mamy u nas w Browarze Fortuna. No i tym produktem chcielibyśmy Was zaskoczyć. Pewnie Was zaskoczymy, bo tak to się pewnie skończy. E, oczywiście, co to jest dokładnie, jak, na czym ten projekt do końca będzie polegał, to powiemy później, żeby Wam nie zdradzać tajemnicy. Natomiast pokażemy Wam browar e, e, Bun, e, bo tutaj z nim się wiąże kilka naprawdę fascynujących historii. Oczywiście będzie też testowanie e, Lambika prosto z e, Fudera. Super sprawa, super sprawa. Nie mogę się doczekać, bo kilkanaście lat temu miałem ostatni raz okazję, także... Super. Dobra, no to idziemy do browaru, gdzie spotkamy e, właściciela piwowara Franka Buna. Chodźcie z nami. Zapraszam. Tak jak powiedziałem, e, jesteśmy, odwróciliśmy kamerę, jesteśmy na tle e, ważelni browaru Bun. E, with us Frank Bun, e, the owner and the brewer of the e, Bun e, Brewery. Brewery, right, yes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Paweł chciał powiedzieć po niderlandzku. Tak, tak. W międzyczasie zasięgnąłem szybkiej porady, jak wymawia się ładnie takie wczesne popołudnie. I chciałbym powiedzieć. Chuj na mytach, Frank. Chuj na mytach. Chuj na mytach. me. You're po polyglot. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Ok, so Frank. Um, How old is the, uh, this brewery? The brewery itself is very old because uh, brewing lambic uh, in this village uh, is a thing that has been done for uh, a very long time. So um, it started once in 1685 and I bought the brewery from my predecessor about um, 40 years ago. Um, But, uh, and and uh, the origins uh, is 17th century, yes? Yes, um, because Lambic uh, village used to be uh, tax-free, uh, free town, and so there were uh, at a certain moment 43 breweries and distilleries that were making Lambic beer and alcohol, mm -hmm. uh, tax-free, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is important to making Lambic is the river, yes, the river Zana, the, the, the valley of the, of the river, yes, valley? Or? Yes. Uh, well, it is known that in the valley of the, the river Zene, uh, all the wild um, organisms are available um, to make uh, a very good beer. So if you want to make beer, of course, you need uh, yeast and you can do that with the culture. But for Lambic, we use the wild yeast from the air. And you can do that everywhere, but the result uh, is not always uh, fantastic. But in this, in this area, we have the right uh, wild yeast to make a fantastic beer. Uh, but uh, when we are here, uh, the brewery is quite peaceful. It's very quiet, not only only few few employees. Uh, yes. Could you tell us why? Yeah, well, uh, of course, it's uh, summertime and in most breweries it's, breweries it's very, there's a lot of activity. The business but, time. Yeah, but uh, Lambic Brewery is a seasonal brewery, so Lambic uh, is only brewed in winter time. Uh, so uh, from the beginning of, in, of October until the end of April. Traditionally from St. Michael uh, to St. George. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go to the. Uh, let's go inside uh, and look at the brew house because there's a very interesting story uh, linking the uh, Boone Brewery and uh, Fortuna Brewery yes, in some yes. way. Uh, so let's check what is the link between these two breweries. Good idea. Okay. So what is the link between uh, your uh, current brewery? Because 
it's not your first brewery where you, uh, uh, you where you are working uh, and the Boom Brewer. Yes, yes. Uh, the story is uh, around 20 years ago uh, when in Kielce it was a small brewery in, uh, let's say in the middle of, of the town of the city and uh, this brewery was bought by, by uh, Belgium uh, investors but uh, after some time they, they, they found that this brewery is too small and they started to build the new brewery in, in the neighborhood of Kielce and this old brewery became as, as, uh, as useless so they decided to, to sell it and then at that moment Fram <laughs> became and he bought this brew house what we are uh, staying now so, uh, so <coughs> let's let make it clear before Brobar Kielce, uh, before Brobar Belgia was yes. Brobar Kielce. It was Brobar Kielce. It was in the center of the town. Yes. Uh, and uh, it was uh, developed to the bigger one and changed the name to Brobar Belgia. Yes. And the equipment from Poland come to Brobar uh, the Brewery Boom. Yeah, right, yes. So I went to Poland, uh, in fact, I went to Poland to buy cherries. We buy a lot of cherries to make our cherry beer and all these cherries come from uh, Poland. So um, uh, I made, uh, I traveled to, to Poland and I knew that uh, there was uh, brewery equipment for sale and that it was uh, very new, that it was only used for a few years. So uh, I visit uh, the brewery in, uh, in Kielce, in Vitoza it was. Vitoza Street. Vitoza Street, yeah, right. And so, um, and um, well, uh, at a certain moment, we decide to buy all the equipment of the brewery, and of course, also the cherries. And we still buy a lot of cherries in Poland. Uh, that was the reason that you you have to learn some Polish words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, because uh, I bought a brewery, and I thought uh, it would. Uh, it would be easy for me to import it in Belgium with the customs I knew these guys. So I said, okay, uh, it's totally 55 tons of uh, brewery equipment, is that okay? And uh, they said, you have to put every item on the list detailed with the weight and with the, the equipment. So uh, to, to, to translate the whole list, Jornik, Wendraki, <laughs> and all, the, so all these Polish, Polish words, and so, uh, yeah. Polish language is not yeah. easy. Well, uh, it's, it's okay. It's it's it, uh, yeah. <laughs> so what is the capacity of this brew house? Um, it's a brew house uh, in which we can make um, brews of 125 hectoliters of land. And we can make uh, one brew every six hours. Okay, we are in the cellar uh, with a, a lot of fooders. Uh, yeah. There is a name for the huge oak tunes here. Yeah. Uh, there are uh, how how old they are? Well, uh, cast from different uh, years. The oldest fooder is from 1883, it's very old, and the youngest one is uh, new for uh, two years ago. Oh, yeah, so. uh, okay, and uh, uh, we begin the uh, tasting with. Uh, with young lambic. We start with uh, uh, young lambic. This one uh, was brewed nine months ago, mm -hmm. so it's uh, a kind of in between. It has, it still has some uh, character from the young lambic, very young lambic. So still uh, some bitterness from the hops, still uh, some some grainy uh, side, uh, but already some acidity that has been developed uh, and some ester, but not not uh, really much so it's uh, it's nice uh, there is some acidity it's uh, quite uh, clean but there's a lot of story still missing here mm -hmm. it's not very uh, funky but as you said uh, there's only the beginning of the of the road it's yeah. not not uh, a lot of horse blanket and and uh, leather uh, notes uh, which yeah. many people f f uh, look for in uh, in Lambic, what what is your some will, but uh, but um, I've seen a lot of descriptions or blanket, uh, barnyard, and uh, they are considered as a, a little bit a part of Lambic, but they are not the goal of the brewer. They are also considered as uh, flaws, as, as off flower, uh, mm -hmm. off flavors. Uh, if you 
uh, what is important and uh, what you said when I was uh, here uh, two years ago uh, that it's not a, a case to make uh, uh, the most sour beer. It's not a, it, it's not a goal to, to make no. a lambic. <laughs> no, 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 because that would be uh, oh, that would be an easy an easy one. Because uh, if it was only the question to make a sour beer, we could just brew in summertime. You get sour beer in two days. <laughs> <laughs> but, it be, but it will be aesthetic. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, it will be. Uh, it will be everything, extreme in everything. And I tasted that. Uh, um, Quite uh, some of these uh, of beers tasting like that, and from, from some hobby guys, eh? I, I I love them when they give samples. But sometimes it's it's really like uh, salad dressing, and you cannot call that lambic. Okay, uh, generally straight lambic is a uh, not not ready beer. It, it's uh, uh, it's a, a material to make gaz, yeah. uh, creek. From Bois, yeah, yeah. but beers, yeah. but uh, you also sell uh, straight lambic. Yes, yes. Well, uh, straight lambic. Um, um, the best straight lambic is is old lambic that has completely fermented. You not ferment not the young one. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is interesting for tasting. But mm -hmm. if I would uh, sell this to cafes, I don't think people will uh, drink a lot of it. This is. This is it's not a uh, very, very young lambic, tastes uh, a little bit like a German Weizen beer with a weird uh, hopping it's, is different. It's even the, uh, the yeah, uh, right, yeah. haziness is similar. Yeah, right. And then all lambic is completely bright. It, it has some winey, phenolic uh, like whiskey. It is phenolic a bit, but it's like more winey. So, and in between, it's no man's land. Not really the the thing you you can sell or you should sell. That's why we age it here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would be easy to have to make lambics in six weeks, but uh, doesn't work. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what is your uh, main product? Gaza Creek or um, at this moment, Goose. Goose, and it's a blend of. Young lambic, one year old, yes. Yes, sixty percent. I will give you the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not that easy. But uh, uh, the rule, <laughs> yeah, sixty percent of one year old, about uh, thirty percent of two years old, and ten percent of three years old. Because it's the ex most expensive, yeah. Because the time, yeah, three, is the, yeah. the time, time is money. <laughs> it's a time-consuming way of making beer, but you will see. Uh, Within our 158 uh, casks, you will find beer of three and a half years uh, old. That is the oldest, and it's completely bright in the cask. Mm -hmm. And um, but it, you need this uh, in a good glass of goose to give it the character. You never tried to make the uh, lambic older than the three and a half year. You can, yes, but it has no sense because uh, then you're. Uh, um, I don't know how would you translate that in English. Um, it, it, the beer is finished. It's it's uh, too empty. You see, mm -hmm. it's so if you get if you make lambic or four or five years, it will be just oxidized old lambic, which is not very nice. At that moment, you have to switch to the bottle, and the bottle in glass is perfectly closed, no no oxidation, and then you have a bottle fermentation, and then you go to the completely anaerobic system. Makes you a fine beer, so and you can age it for decades, 20 years, 30 years. Uh, so uh, the young lambic uh, put the sugars, left sugars to the to the gas, and the old one put the character and the wild yeast and the wild yeast, which consume the sugars and make it uh, carbonated. Right. Yes. Okay. Um, so uh, let's try uh, something uh, <laughs> older. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely uh, magnificent uh, cast because there is. If you see the quality of the oak, eh? <laughs> and uh, do, do you know from where the oak uh, came from this cask? Eh? I don't know. <laughs> from Poland. <laughs> well, uh, from what is today Poland? Yes, uh, <laughs> yeah. it's from from uh, it. It comes from. Uh, uh, what formerly uh, was uh, uh, East Prussia, and so was called the, the part of um, 
you see, uh, Memelgebiet. You see where it is? It's it's the border of um, uh, Polish uh, Russia. Kaliningrad. Kaliningrad. Yeah, 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 there from the border there, mm -hmm. and that is where you get oak trees, very slow growing, very slow growing and they are hard like uh, iron. And so if you see, this is, this is the lines are very tight and there is, uh, there are no uh, faults in it. This, this is perfect oak. Mm -hmm. That is perfect oak. So, so imagine this, this cask was made in 1883 and the tree, the tree to plant, uh, uh, no, the, the, the tree, that, uh, or the trees, because you need about six cube uh, of oak for this cask. Uh, the tree for this cask has been planted 200 years before. So cask was made 1883, so probably someone planted an oak tree in 1683. Maybe in nature. <laughs> yeah, so, so uh, yeah, but this, this is crazy. Yeah, w uh, not crazy for us because we are used to, but uh, sometimes I have to speak for uh, nice American thing. customers and they want yeah. to hear this. Uh, <laughs> so this is before the, be American, be before before the American. American, e e American even existed. Uh, but, um, uh, no, it's, uh, it was made with a uh, 200 years uh, old oak and uh, it's just a fantastic cask and each time uh, I use it for three years, only for three years, always three years, three years. Uh, only only the each, oldest. Each oak. year, each time after three years, fantastic beer. Just maybe try this one. Huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. So here you will have uh, not really uh, uh, you will not taste the influence of oak because it's old cask. But, uh, and we see the letter Z, uh, so it, uh, it means you uh, end the alphabet. Yes, but not the end of brewing, of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you can start no, yeah. from the beginning. It's yeah. not about hey. liters. <laughs> yeah, so we, Z is uh, more than two years old, so uh, mm -hmm. the it's uh, the last, season, the last brewing season was B, the one before A, and the one before Z. It, so it's 14-15. It, it, it's, uh, yes, you will uh, see this is um, my, uh, yeah, November 15, November 15 until it was, uh, this one was uh, probably filled in December 14, and the brewing season stopped in October, uh, in April uh, 15. Mm. Awesome. So it's two and a half years old, this one. So this is, mm -hmm. you, will not, you will find no oak yeah, in, here, in this one. Yeah. But the sourness is also it's smaller. Small. Yeah, because uh, during the maturation... Uh, you build the, esters. Yeah, but uh, some of the, um, uh, I don't know, uh, how... how um, Acids, yeah. Some no, no, no. Acids uh, are how it's, uh, you call it, microbes? Uh, the microorganisms, the, the British or... Uh, but some of them uh, reduce the uh, um, acid. Yes, well, that is, uh, is one of the functions of Brettanomyces wild yeast. So they are, uh, <coughs> they can build esters. Mm -hmm. And esters is, in fact, uh, uh, two molecules, one of acid and one of alcohol linked together. And then you get esters. Yes. Esters make very nice taste, but do, they do not taste acid. Mm -hmm. So your acidity can go down, your alcohol will go down a little bit, but alcohol and uh, acid together give ester. Yes. And that is very interesting. Mm -hmm. I try to explain it a little bit uh, comprehensive. Mm -hmm. So you see, Lambi brewing is not just business and economy, it's just fun. fun. <laughs> <laughs> because it's fun, uh, I just made a living out of it. <laughs> Walking yeah. among the cask. Brewing is fun and, and uh, what we uh, say in Poland that uh, craft is people. Uh, craft brewing is people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I have to blend it in this because this is the right proportion of queen juice and uh, and lambic, uh, it's cold and that is why it's uh, very uh, cloudy now. And I, uh, it's a blend on 
33 cent liter and it must be about this about uh, about yeah. so. <coughs> yes. artisanal mixer yeah. <laughs> it's the one that was used <laughs> it's a yeah, yeah, stopper yeah. to, uh, to yeah, yeah. crush the uh, sugar, sugar cubes yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, but this is a modern one. It's in stainless steel, so they, <laughs> they, this is the, the the model that was made until 30 years ago. Now, no, I know they don't make it anymore. But, um, so this is this is uh, 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 a lambic issued from a cask, but the other one we tasted there had red wine, mm -hmm. and this one was from a cask that had white wine. White wine. And so the the red wine is fantastic if you make. Uh, for example, um, a cherry or a beer, Red fruits. and you add something, then it adds something special. So in this case, uh, I did a lot of uh, testings um, with the quince. Uh, white wine uh, went uh, better than than the more Breta or the more phenolic, uh, uh, because you, you you have to keep the fruity uh, taste. If you go too phenolic. Uh, it's interesting in good, but not in the fruit. Uh, let's uh, test and try. It needs some more, uh, some more carbon <laughs> dioxide, of course. <laughs> uh. Thank you. Definitely, the fruit gives uh, sweetness, yes. so it's, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. more mild. Yeah, and also the, the the young beer from the the wheat beer is. Uh, it's really refreshing. Yeah. And, and the, uh, the character of the lump is, lump is, is present. Yeah, the lump is yeah. Yeah. It's different than, than the normal what you can find on the market. Yeah, but there is this uh, citric acid. Or you won't find it in there. Yeah, because it's because not, it's not it's common uh, the, fruit. The, the lambic dimension is uh, not many uh, totally different. Yeah, no, yeah, not yeah, not yeah, many yeah. people in Poland even taste it at their life. Uh, what it tastes, this fruit, yeah, because it's not fruit you can buy in a shop. It's more like some uh, wild fruit, which is uh, used for making, a, how would say it in English? Uh, a jam? We spi uh, no, spirit. Uh, oh, uh, yes, spirit, did they make uh, alcohol? Uh, distills yeah, yeah. Which, yeah. Fr with yeah. fruits. They? Distills with fruit. Nalewki. Nalewki, no, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what is Nalewka. I, I only know, we know, uh, only tink, know it from, tink -tink from, uh, from jam. They only know yeah. it from jump. I don't know what Pepe is the name really. in English. Yeah. And the keeper does all that stuff. Tincture, uh, I think. Not well. Mm -hmm. ring well, it's no? wild fruit with wild beer. Wild fruit, wild beer. <laughs> There's some more. So, I see the glasses <laughs> are empty. It must be yeah, okay. Yes. <laughs> it must be good. <laughs> that's, that's the proof that the beer is really yeah. nice. Really I good. think this is a, a nice aperitif like beer. Something. If you're on a terrace, uh, it's a... It's a <coughs> So, few weeks, we, we can try it, uh, what, 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 uh, it will be final product. <laughs> few weeks. Okay. Zapraszamy Was serdecznie na uh, uh, premierę tego piwa, która yeah. będzie w sierpniu. Tak, prędzej czy później. To już się musi stać, po tej degustacji nie ma odwrotu. To, to, się, to, się, to się zdarzy. I to będzie yeah. fajna chwila. No, także widzicie, krafto e, ludzie. E, pierwsza chyba kooperacja z browarem robiącym lambiki polskiego browaru. To jest na pewno wydarzenie. Ja też nie kojarzę, żeby ktoś. Oczywiście, oczywiście wiadomo, że gicy i ja też byśmy chcieli, żeby to był po prostu lambik, ale też rozumiem wasze podejście, że chodzi o to, żeby to było piwo szerzej dostępne i żeby to było piwo, które będzie no, no może, może nawet będzie takim entry levelem do kogoś, kto zobaczy, że bun, co to za bun, tak? Kupię jakieś inne piwo od browaru bun i ktoś wejdzie w lambiki, nie? może przez krika, może przez ten, także, także szukajcie, czekajcie niecierpliwie, a, 
będzie się działo, Teraz będzie się działo. E, Teraz już wszystko w rękach Pawłem Bir. Zrobię wszystko, co, co tylko co się da, żeby, żeby było dobre i żeby fajnie smakowało. Szukajcie nas w sklepikach. Będzie, będzie coś. Do zobaczenia. Pozdrawiamy.